This episode of the GR Rideshare Adventure Podcast is sponsored by CarStar Impact of Cascade. They are located at 5566 36th Street in Grand Rapids on the corner of Kraft and 36th Street, right near the airport. Their telephone number is 616-954-9200. Steve is the manager there. They do a great job. They've worked on Ben's car. Um, If you've heard Gabe on the podcast, they've done work for him. What CarStar Impact of Cascade does is they have an open bay for rideshare drivers. If you have work that needs to get done, call them. They can get you in that day or the next day and get you back on the road to make money. Relax. We'll take it from here. Welcome to the GR Rideshare Adventures podcast. Rideshare infotainment for the new driver, old driver, and everyone in between. Oh my God. Hi guys. Welcome to the GR Rideshare Adventure Technical Snafu Podcast. This is the first episode of... Uh... The GR Rideshare Adventure Podcast. This is episode <laughs> one. Jiminy Cricket. Is anyone out there? Can you hear us? I don't even know if anyone can hear us. I'm not saying anything. Until somebody confirms. Well, I don't care about your lag, Sam. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so welcome to the GR Ride Chair Adventure Podcast. We had an interview set up with Steve from uh, Uber and Lyft. Li- UberLiftDrivers.com. Um, unfortunately we had huge technical issues and, uh, we can't connect with him and do the podcast for some reason. I don't know, but we're going to have him back in two weeks. Um, Sam, watch your mouth. So this, uh, podcast is sponsored by car star. Damn it. Yeah. Car star impact of cascade. <laughs> Usually I do it the other way around. Uh, car star impact of cascade. Yes. We're losing oh. it. Ben and I are having a meltdown. Jesper's on his phone texting his girlfriend in California. Hey, now. Okay, back to the ad. It's sponsored by CarStar Impact of Cascade, um, located at 5566, 36th Street in Grand Rapids. Telephone number 954-9200. Steve is the manager there, and he will take good care of you. Uh, It's been a fun campaign. He has given us some feedback, and some of you have gone out there and, and... got his services so uh we appreciate that we'll talk a little bit more about that in the middle of the podcast i feel so bad for steve (laughs) hopefully ben's trying to repair it right now (laughs) um so it's jesper ben and me jesper uh did not drive oh i lied he did drive a little bit um and ben is not driving this is my car needs to be fixed i think this was this month two no Oh, six weeks. Oh, six weeks. It's been two weeks since I've driven. I think we've done three (laughs) podcasts since you haven't driven. Hey, Ben, just real quick. I don't see it live on YouTube. It's live on YouTube. It is. Yep. Refresh your page. It's live with four viewers. Yep. Good job. So, um, oh, oh, I thought you were going to (laughs) drop. Usually you drop the F bomb when you're like, ah. I didn't know. I said fine. So, so yeah, um, I went. I, I drove. He drove one Friday in the last two weeks. I didn't drive. I was flexing two weekends ago. Flexing. That was my joke. Okay, you can't hey, use my joke. I was gonna say it before you <laughs> stole it from me. Uh, but yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm. It might take me a little bit to get settled in here. I'm a little scattered. I feel super bad. Uh, for Steve, him and I talked for an hour last night at Skype. Did I test it through XSplit? No, of course not, because it worked before. Why wouldn't it work this time? So, um, thank you guys for for tuning in. We got our our favorites that are online always, Sam and Larry. I mean, you're all our favorites, but the the regulars. So, no. um, again, yes, we drove Friday night, just super slow. Real quick, first guys. Please go ahead and share this in your local oh, markets. Um, we didn't. We did zero sharing. I feel like we need to do that. So currently, but also to our current people who are watching, go ahead and share it to your local markets as well. Yeah, and then uh, a few people know about it, but we do have a. Um, and we'll talk about it a little bit later, but we do have a group on um, on Telegram, 
and we have what's Telegram? Yes, Telegram is an app that we use to check and uh, to chat in and, and connect in when we are driving or when we're not driving, or as my wife and my kids says all the time. Uh, <laughs> Um, it's kind of always on the phone, and I think we have thirty-five people in the in, in our yeah. national group now. Um, yeah, on uh, our all the newest... way Go from on, Hawaii. Yeah, we have uh, obviously Larry. We have we we added um, Annie, but she doesn't talk. She's oh. she probably she talked like the first couple times, and then she saw how much chatter was in there. She's like, oh, I I can't keep up with these guys. <laughs> and then Aaron also. Yep, Aaron. Uh, so. I don't. And again, Wisner. the biggest reason, as we talk about this, well, I think just, it's Wisner, isn't it? I think they said Wisner, and that was wrong. But anyway, sorry. So going. for the people in there as well, also in there, go ahead and share it in in, in your local markets. It really does help us a lot. To yeah, kinda, it does. To uh, to get more, um, get this show more broadly um, presented out on 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 all the markets. So, Christopher from Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Hey, Chris, welcome. how are you doing? Welcome. Woo. What a what a start! I huh? am, <laughs> I am stressed to the max. Stressed to the max. I'm I'm starting to calm down. I shouldn't be drinking a mean bean. That's okay. I, said, again, I asked if anyone had any pot earlier before we went live, but no one did. So, and again, Steve, if you're listening in, we are sorry that this didn't work out, but we'll 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 connect with you again. Yeah. So, so. Go ahead. I, I interrupted you, Jason. Yeah, so. no. So um, check out the Telegram group. Uh, all the links in that we talk about um, the newsletter. We don't have July's done yet, but June's is still in there. And then the Telegram group is actually in the description um, for for your Facebook peeps uh, in the description of the post. Uh, so I'll have all our links in there. Um, our, please also download the audio podcast. Um, it's really helpful for us if we want to sell our services to like another sponsor when we can show them the numbers and they're like, Hey, wow, you guys have good numbers. So, um, I noticed now too, that, um, there's top fans. Sam's a top fan on our page. Yeah. Hey, oh, so is Pete. All right. Hey, Vaughn. Not sure why Larry is not. Yeah, I know. He must've got bumped down. Okay. So, um, Let's before we get into this, uh, our news. Let's talk about CarStar a little bit. Um, this hopefully they re up for us in the next couple months, so this will be the last uh, spot for them. Um, we are giving away. Well, CarStar is giving away a cleaning kit, uh, like wash bucket, tire cleaner, yep. washman, all that stuff. If you're in the local market, and if you're not, a gift card to an auto parts store. Of their choosing if you're not in market. So go ahead and uh, comment on the live stream, hashtag CarStar. Uh, we'll, I don't know, next half hour, get back in and uh, yep. um, remind you to do that. So, but yeah, CarStar is great. They have, um, they're really pushing their detail. Steve's got a bay open for that. He also has a bay open for any ride, ch- well, anyone that really needs to get in in a pinch and get an right. estimate done. Uh, he can try to get you in that day or the next day for an estimate. To get you fixed and back on the road. The biggest thing he understands that you guys are using your vehicles to to make your money, and every time that you're not having a vehicle available to you, you're losing money, and so that's that's key. And and he will help you get back on the road as fast as possible. Yeah. So they're located right near the airport on uh, fifty five. Uh, uh, 5566 36th <laughs> Street, uh, Southeast in GR nine five four ninety two hundred. Ask for Steve. Uh, please, if you do have any body work or anything, I had a piece of trim fall off. So did Jesper. Although you fixed I your... I fixed it myself. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why did you go to Steve? Because I... I hey! I, hey! I, I, hey! Because I, you probably fixed it. I decided... Because it was, was a non-insurance item. Yeah, yeah. It was... Jamie Lynn's on? Some, some driver, some passenger ripped it off. And I didn't even realize it. I would have reported it. You know, my trim was kind of loose. But that's what happened to mine. I think uh, uh, my last, well, it was my last ride because I had to rip it off the rest of the way. But I think uh, a woman had some high heels and she just caught it in there. And I didn't hear it go clunk, but I started driving away here. Well, you reported it, right? You could have reported it. No, I wouldn't have done You could. Well, it was already loose. Well, you could have gotten your repair, P. I'm not going to do that. It's my fault that I didn't get it fixed before it uh, completely came off. Oh, okay. But it's been like it was a it's a long piece. It goes from the front tire to the back. It, yeah. But anyways. So wait, the entire 
the length of the vehicle? Pretty much. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Are you trying to be sarcastic? Yeah, I don't know. It didn't, didn't work. Okay. <laughs> so, what were, we going, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Patreon. Yes. Oh, I'm super excited for this, and hopefully the technical flaw won't happen. What's the matter? Sam, I'm not a scammer. <laughs> what the heck? Um. So Patreon, we're done. We're done, Sam. Please, done. Please, please take a look at that. We, uh, if you look in the description, the link is in there. Um, we just launched that about a week ago. It has a little video in there to kind of explain uh, what it's about. But we've got some great new uh, features. Uh, it's the five dollar fe- feature features. What a dumbass. The the five dollar <laughs> tier gets you just. I will tip you in the app. That's what it's called. That's just because you love the free content that we provide. And uh, and um, the ten dollar tier gets you uh, a t shirt or a merch after the second month, and we are going to start an economy economy gig economy podcast uh, once a month, and uh, that's going to be basically we're going to pick a topic uh, Amazon Flex uh, Grubhub or whatever uh, to talk about in that podcast, and you only can get that through the uh, the Patreon. So. I know a lot of people do a lot of other stuff. Um, you know, this is basically just rideshare stuff. We do, you know, briefly talk about gig economy stuff. But uh, yeah, sign up for the Patreon. We'd really appreciate it. It helps support us, uh, kind of pays for some of the expenses. Um, and yeah, we would greatly, greatly appreciate that. So real quick to Vaughn from YouTube is saying he was bummed he couldn't make it to the picnic. He hope it went well. We'll talk a little bit about it later, but it did go. It went well, let's really talk well. About it now. Well, we can. Yeah, but, I mean, we I thought we had other things to talk about. Well, we we do, <laughs> but let's get let's get through our uh, our minutia first before we jump into the rides here because we okay. we were hoping for some pictures. But so it was a super hot day, uh, oh. and and we do have some pictures later. They are going to be on the website. I was experiencing technical difficulties with those as well earlier. Yeah, it, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's it's, it's just it's, it's just the weather. The, it's the day. It's just too hot. If you guys could have been in here 15 minutes before this started. And, I guys, was losing my mind. Guys from down south, we don't want to hear about it. Okay? Yeah. Up here, 88 degrees is hot. <laughs> and let's face it, I had I was talking to my boss today. I said, we need to we should have bottled some of that polar vortex. And then when we started <laughs> complaining about the heat, just you could open it up just for a little little burp. And then you'd be like, okay, never mind. I'm cool. I like the heat. <laughs> you can keep your polar vortex. So, anyways, it went well. We had a nice turnout. I think we were about 50 people. Yeah, I mean, roughly. with our families, I yeah, think. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully next year we'll we'll do it again. And yep. yeah, I don't. I I didn't see anything wrong with it. Um, I think we had a good time. And but yeah, more yeah, more people definitely. But it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely Absolutely. like more people. It was interesting. We saw some people come in from Kalamazoo and a gentleman yeah. come in from Lansing. So yeah, and Tom from Lansing and, and Kentucky. Ken- well, yeah. yeah, I mean, There's Larry's expected La- to come Larry. now. It's not even. <laughs> it's implied that Larry's going to come. So. Who is the who is the guy from Kalamazoo? Uh, Ramon. 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 Yep. That, good. Exactly. Good memory, yep. Ben. Yep. So. Nice. I work in sales. I need to know names. <laughs> it was just all, all all around good to kind of you know uh, help build the community. So. Yeah, yeah. We gained a couple of uh, you know people in the ride uh, the Telegram chat, which that that uh, also is in the description. Please join that. It gets a, there's usually someone on there that can talk to you if you're bored. Yes. Mostly John from the hours of 9P to 7A. <laughs> He's a third shifter. So John always on. That's is... okay. All right. Let's get into rideshare in the news. Um, again, Steve, I'm super sorry that that happened. Uh, I apologize. Uh, I should have been better and should have checked that, but I didn't. So uh, first up, this is kind of a funny one, and I'm sure you all see this, but a drunk man <laughs> uses an Uber to save a baby bird. Uh, to rescue an injured baby bird. So my favorite thing, not my favorite thing, my most frustrating thing is I'm on part of this Facebook group, this local Facebook group in Hudsonville, Jenison, Granville, whatever. There's about 20,000 people in there. And two or three times a day, it's, I found a baby bird. What should I do with it? It's injured. (laughs) I say just step on his neck. No, oh. no, I, it sounds mean, but I mean, there's a billion birds. I mean, we're it's not somebody's pet. Like the thing's probably suffering. I just all these resources are going in to save a bird. I mean, but step on its neck. I mean, Jason, come on, <laughs> seriously, that's a little brutal. Okay, you want to hear something even worse? 
You ready? Mm-hmm. At least a couple times a year as I run over baby bunnies with my machine. And sometimes they're still alive. And sometimes I just, you know, step on their neck because they're going to die. Well, yeah. <laughs> I want them what not is to this? St- just back up again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a rideshare podcast. No, it is, but I just, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just, uh, it, uh, I just, I just want to put it out of its misery. I'm a hunter, right. so I don't want the animal to suffer. So, anyways, so yeah, this guy was drunk and, uh, he, they received a call, uh, looks like wild rehab in northern Utah from a man who had too many alcoholic drinks but discovered a baby lesser goldfin struggling on the ground um the funny the picture is i'm sure you saw it but uh we'll be able to um oh, they had a fundraiser for it sorry i just missed that <laughs> they raised 285 dollars right oh my gosh so yeah they uh <laughs> the uber driver drove it to the center and um PD, they named him, was thin and dehydrated when he arrived. He says the bird should be released into the Utah wilderness in a few weeks. I mean, okay. <laughs> it's just funny. I mean, have you guys ever transported anything other than passengers? I, uh, I mean, I've, I've had service, service animals. No, no, no. But I mean, like every, I swear once a week um, in the Grand Rapids group, I see somebody say, my best passenger, and it's like a... AC Delco part or something like that. I've never or documents I, or documents or something stuff, like yeah. that. I, I don't. I wonder why that doesn't get used more often. You would think it would. I had the briefcase from you know from. Uh, did it have money in it? No, uh, from from. Uh, never mind. Oh, that. Was, I, did I was, you ripcord? I was hoping for a joke. It didn't work. Oh Again, man, you I, just ripcord. Tonight is not very good. I know what is going on. Yeah. Let's just end it now. Good night. No. <laughs> uh, I can't talk at all. Yeah. So. Apparently, you Samantha, you got something playing in the background. Yes, don't shake your head. It was last time. I'm hearing the live stream. I heard it too. Thank you. From where? A phone. Nothing. That computer. I'll uh, mute the computer. Yeah, are the headphones plugged into it? Yeah. <laughs> headphones are plugged into the computer. Right, but it's coming out of the headphones. Oh, well, okay. Do you hear it now, Jesper? Nope. Hmm. All right. Jeez, Louise. We need some AC in our basement. <laughs> What's up? Samantha says we need AC in the basement. The AC's running. You probably feel it right now, right? I do. It it's feels toast- wonderful. It's toasty. Nice. nice. All right, Jesper. Let's talk about... Uh, oh, this is... this. Jesper's going to talk about this, but it... Um, well, we're both going to talk about it. But there was a bug sending drivers to their destinations and to the riders' destinations instead right. of the pickups. So I don't think that it happened in our local market. At least I didn't hear anybody talk I think about Pete, it. It I did. Think, yeah, I think Pete had did it Pete happen. Did Pete have one? Okay, yeah. I, there were a I couple people that. on Telegram okay. that were talking about okay. it. Yeah. Well, so I missed that one. But obviously, as you said, it was sending... Um, it was sending the people, uh, sending the driver to the to the destination address and not reporting where they were going to be picking up. So obviously off. It had. I mean, I have had that happen a couple of times to me over the couple of years. But that's. I mean, obviously has a been, drunk rider. Right. Exactly. The the, the passenger. Ooh, I hate that. The wrong address. I hate that. Right? I always. I I find out how far away I am from them, and I'm like. Sorry, I'm canceling. I'm not driving right. across the city. I had one once exactly, and it was a sick. It was an XL. And same thing. I called her, and and I I'd been waiting at her address for probably a minute and a half, two minutes. I called her, and she's like, "No, no, we are like in we are in 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 like twenty five minutes away." It's like, "No, you got to cancel it." Yeah. I was like, and I so I got my cancellation money and I moved on. But it's like, yeah, obviously in those situations, it's them putting in the wrong address. So, but I've never had it happen where it was uh, it was like this. So coincidental coincidentally yep yeah there we go i got it there um go. that day that that happened facebook and instagram were having trouble uh with their servers yeah Do facebook re- was not loading pictures yeah i think the person could see them but the people that were friend quote on, ah, not sorry. always no okay it was very sporadic because i yeah but i saw people that would comment about it and i'm like i can't see your picture i'm not sure what um right. what you're seeing but i wonder if that had something to do with it 
I think somebody, you know, plugged the computer in wrong. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like trying to put Skype on, you yep, know, in a live yep. stream that we've done before. <laughs> um, it worked before. Yeah. Oh, so Pete, Pete is saying that both Pete and Chris was experiencing that day. Um, so, okay, I I missed that then I'm from the from the app. So. I can't believe Sam said that we look sweaty. I do look <laughs> a little only, glossy. Only you. I'm look. I know. I actually took a but shower. You're, you're just generally good looking, man. That's oh wow! Oh. <laughs> it's getting sexy up in man. here. Man, I didn't say that. I what kind of podcast that. is this? Okay. So during the uh, basically the article said Uber blah 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 something happened. They didn't give a reason why, but I think it was right. corrected within a couple of days. Yep. But it wasn't everybody. It was just kind of random. Yep. But uh. But uh, I think the cool thing that that kind of in the article was an Uber spokesperson actually said they confirmed to the business insider that the issue was affecting rice and it was a result of a service interruption. So they actually did speak out and say, "Yeah, this is a real thing." Well, at least for that, well, sure. wouldn't you be going nuts like third ride of the day or something? You're like, "What in the hell is going on? Why do I keep? Why? Right. Why is this happening?" Yep. At that point, it's time to take a break. So. Oh yeah. Um, next up, and we've talked about this uh, a ton, but do you know if your your driver is insured? Um, and- I think that was just clickbait, to be honest. Yeah, you think so? I, well, I mean, news stations make their money from advertisements, so if they get a lot of people clicking on these stories, they're going to get the money. That's so true, because what was it? Was it last podcast we talked about one just because the, the title was clickbaity, and then you went in there? Yeah. What was that about? I can't remember, but I, I I think the first item on our our list was a uh, me bitching about this being a clickbait. <laughs> yeah, because if you put Uber or Lyft in the story, it's going to get and insurance because insurance is a hot topic always. Right. Um. So right. it you know this talks about this guy had switched off his Lyft app, Lyft app before going into the gas station and um and then was an accident when he called. Uh, they denied his claim, saying never informed him of the ride share activities. And I think all of us, when we initially started, didn't do, didn't announce that we were doing ride share because we all probably would have been dropped. Right. Um, but now there's an opportunity to uh, almost all the carriers provide that that ride share gap insurance or whatever you call it, the endorsement. Mm-hmm. And there shouldn't be any reason uh, for that. Um. Will post, uh, oh, this was interesting. It says, uh, the rideshare guy in the most recent survey of 1,100 drivers find that majority of drivers did not have rideshare insurance. Now, right. I don't know. Did I see the date on this? Yeah, see, this is how they, oh, October 17, 2018. Why was just this popping up? Because they months? were just posting it again. You're right. They Sick they baby. regenerated it. But it brings up a good point. Right. The, the, the rideshare endorsement is relatively cheap. If you don't have it, get it. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Yeah, I mean right. it, it's going to save your butt, and then then you know that your insurance is okay with it, so you're not going to. Right. It actually is quite affordable, honestly. I mean, why yeah. wouldn't you? I you all right I, over I, there? No, oh, yeah. Okay. I think I'm paying fourteen dollars a month. So oh, that. that's it. You well, know, maybe mine's lower. I I think mine's. I don't know. I should probably look up on that. But so we had a podcast where we sat down. Geez, probably a year ago. I think um, so. yep. it's with been a while. yeah, with um, farmers insurance. Actually, my agent came into the studio here to uh, talk about it, and I will copy and paste that and put in the chat, even though some people can't see it. But um, it's a good podcast. It gets a little heady, but um, it's it's good to to listen to and see the importance of um you know, getting insurance and getting that extra insurance. Um, it's, did that post right or not? Oh yeah. So click on that link, download it, listen to it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll refer you to Jeffrey because <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I have it and I'm covered. So Jamie Lynn says that it's working very well for her or over $28,000 in medical paid out so far from endorsement that costs her $11 per month. Oh, wow. But is, she was in an accident too, right? Yeah, so, is, is uh, I wonder if she's still dealing with um, medical issues from that. Yeah. Um, at some point, it could be interesting to have you on again, Jamie, and talk some more about you know the after after effects. Right. So you said so. No. I was oh, just... okay. Um, yeah. Well, next up is a kind of a funny picture. 
Um, <laughs> this is from MJ Herman. I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm going to let Jesper read it. I, I'm uh, just going to go with it could be true. No, I could see I mean, my yeah. I could see myself doing this, but I could also just be somebody with an overactive imagination and no, an overactive no bowel. Not even overactive. I I can see my myself <laughs> myself myself doing this, see but myself. I would but I wouldn't post it on Facebook. Go well, ahead, read it right. for well, our audio. Do people. we want to talk about your bottle you have in your car? <laughs> well, we can talk about it. <laughs> All we, right. <laughs> it's on the screen. Oh, yeah. It kind of looks like this. Read it, yes. Full, full and not full. Okay, so I have an issue. This is what my pee looks like. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's okay. Just kind of nice. I okay. just have to say real quick, Chris Bruinsma from Threads is watching, and he's harassing me. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you turn your mic up a little bit, your gain? Thanks. He's harassing you. Why is he on here? How did he see it? I don't know. <laughs> that was a Mickey Mouse like me. <laughs> hey, I don't know who Chris is. Okay. But I, maybe I should listen to that Threads thing you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I don't. It's boring. Threads oh. Podcast, Life Unfiltered, <laughs> ThreadsPodcast.com. Okay, so you got... you got. All your, right, are we going to go to the story so, now? No, yes. Okay. Yeah. Here so we go. I'm going to read. Okay. You're going to so, read? So I have an issue. I was out driving tonight, and I messed up really bad. I had this strange feeling in my gut, so I pushed. <laughs> I just <laughs> I th- thought it was just gonna be a fart, but turns out <laughs> it was more than a fart. <laughs> now I have a mess. I lost my picture. Yeah, I know. I was reading Would it. You on like the, me to? I well, just dropped, we're, we were reading on the the, <laughs> the the live stream. I just dropped the passenger off that I had in the car when it happened, but now I don't know what to do. <laughs> you don't know what to do. You post has on this, Facebook, of has course. Has this ever happened to anyone else? Any advice would be appreciated. Thank. You. So here's the thing. I think you did it in just the right order, right? You drop the passenger off. Then you take a picture of it, put it on Facebook, talk about it, and then you go clean yourself up. <laughs> no. you Because if you're not on Facebook, it didn't happen. No. You forgot one step. Um, you wipe it on the seat and then get a claim from Uber for <laughs> $50 cleaning fee. <laughs> no, you don't. That, oh. That's that's fraud. That's right? too far? That's fraud. We can't do fraud. I know, I'm just teasing. But no, where do you go? You go to your hey, nearest Hey, well, you got to make money. You got to make money. So yeah. Go to your nearest shell station and clean up. Yes. That's go to Johnny's. He will help you yeah, clean well, up. He, the lady's nice, though, at night. She might help you. Anyways. Yeah, that shell is third shift is, is pretty yes, nice. They, so. they got it down. On a serious note, though, if you do have to use some restrooms, shell station on michigan and if you're in grand rapids Rapids, for the people that aren't in grand rapids in general they have some awesome bathrooms so anyways so that's for the night and no samantha you should not post for a cleaning fee so get off see she's thinking like i am (laughs) no but that see that's fraud guys well i we're just (laughs) joking for goodness crap literally crap crap. yeah literally crap i gotta stop kicking the camera i just yeah i saw about three times that's all right. So, it's but closer uh, tonight. You got, you got bare legs. On a more serious note, though. Okay, okay we're getting with, serious. With, whether this is actually true or not. Is this a serious podcast? It, I don't know. It could be. Okay. If you want a serious podcast, check out threadspodcast.com. <laughs> Threads Podcast, Life Unfiltered. Go ahead on a serious note. Okay. What I want to know is would any of you guys go out driving if you felt like you had. Fun feelings in your gut. <laughs> That's a double snort tonight. No, but you got me. <laughs> That's not what I expected you to say. Fun feelings in your gut. Well, that's what he's saying. He was like rumble tumbly. Fun in the yeah. I mean, that's the thing, right? So, I mean, I wouldn't. No, stay home. Right? Yeah. It's not. It. Yeah. Take yeah, some Pepto Bismol. I mean, if you need the money, but hashtag rideshare, bro. I mean, hashtag Uber Lyft life. You got to get out there and get that cheddar. Yeah, I know. But and then the one comment uh, that was funny on that picture said, Missy Week said, don't push. Yeah, don't push. <laughs> yeah. Why is it all men gamble and lose all the time? But you never hear women do it. Maybe because well, it's a- Gabe doesn't, he doesn't lose when he gambles. Gabe wins when he gambles. Well, when he literally gambles, he wins for right. sure. Yeah. All right. Next up, Jesper. I've never been to a casino. Really? Sorry. That's, <laughs> That's really not what, what's next up. But. No, but 
That I thought I'd throw that in there. Do you want to go to Wayland? You should go with Gabe. Do not go with right? me. You'll lose everything. <laughs> <laughs> so this is about the grannies that is running sh- in running shoes delivers ramen for Uber Eats in Japan, right? Yep. So I it's so it's a big story and and whether or not it's actually whether or not the, the Uber is actually uh, uh, it's legal for them to use vehicles. We were talking about that back and forth. Uh, I think it's interesting that uh, that the seniors are using this as as a as an aspect as a way to get out, and get some exercise, yeah, and get social and make some money at the same time. So the whole point of the story is in Japan, uh, Uber is being used by seniors to make a little extra money, but they out there running. They are not using any of this, you know, cars or whatnot. So. Anything, any, any, any transportation? Yeah, apparently or... in Japan, um, they you can't ride share. There's no ride share, in, or Uber can't. Where, where did I read yeah, that? There is ride share, but not Uber, right? No, it says Uber technology strategy for Japan, where ride sharing is banned in Japan. That's what it says. Is unique as the country itself. So hmm. ba- basically, there's no ride sharing in Japan. I thought our Japan stats were a little low. I I was really worried about that. That was funny. Our stats. I know. I wasn't sure if you were being serious or not. <laughs> I I'm trying to be kind and graceful because you've had a rough night. Ben it's, just deadpan me like it's a rough Is this night real? Tonight. Is this real life? Or is this a joke? It's a rough night. Tonight. But no, I think that's a great idea. I mean, <laughs> it should I was seriously thinking about our stats in Japan to try to figure <laughs> out if that was a joke or if that Sorry. was real. No, that was a total joke. I don't think we have any stats. In oh, Japan. well, in that case, <laughs> that was a good one, Jason. Oh, man. This is a joke that went way too far. Uh, but no, it's good for elderly people to be active anyways. Um, yep. Um, keep your body moving and leave it to Uber to market on that. Right. That's why I feel like they're going to be more successful in the long haul you know, than Lyft. Um, they just have so much diversity. It's a race to. Uh, I was talking to Steve last night, and it's like it's a. It was, it was it Steve that said there. I don't know. I listened to a couple of rideshare podcasts, but it's a race to uh, whoever gets the autonomous car first. I mean, well, it, we were, yeah, there, that was in an article earlier. Oh, was it that I read? Yeah. Okay, and and I mean, there, there, this particular article was stating that that she said um, they all know that, that uh, the ride chain industry as it is today is not going to last because they are really, it's the one, it's the article about, um, people being treated so bad that person, the, the Reddit, I think that's coming up soon. A- anyways. And the whole point was that this person was stating that both, well, primarily Uber, but also Lyft in a sense, they don't care at all about the drivers, they, they, you know, at all. And, and they're basically going to burn through us. And at some point, nobody wants to drive for them. And then their only chance of making money is by autonomous cars. Okay. But I, at least it shows we both read the article. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, Winner. Yeah. But it's still, I just, I don't see it happening within the next five, ten years. No, it's, I don't either. You know, They're it, it, bringing an autonomous car to Grand Rapids. Well, well that, yeah, but that's one car. But here's the <laughs> thing. I mean, it's coming, though. The, if they do come, who's going to own them? We're going to own them, right? You, you, you can't imagine Uber is going to have a fleet of autonomous cars, or is Ford going to own them? Or is know. Chevy going to own I think them? Or? Ford's going to lease them out to Uber. You think? And mass, yeah. Yeah, but they, they but, I don't think they can do it. What about the maintenance? Like that's that's where Uber makes out bank on us is not just the low rates, but it's the 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 maintenance on it. Like they don't pay any of that. They have no overhead costs when it comes to the vehicle. They're not gonna go buy fifty thousand autonomous <laughs> autonomous cars. Gyros. <laughs> but look at it this way, if they do, they get to keep the whole fare themselves. True. They, they don't have to pay anybody. True, but they don't have. Where are they going to come up with that kind of money? They have it. They have seven it. billion dollars. All the right, investors I have. I mean, <laughs> made that clear. I just don't see Uber. I mean, their whole business is based on um, having us foot the bill. I just can't see them turning around and be like, "Okay, see ya." Oh, they don't care about us at all. Well, I know. I, it's not about caring. I'm just saying it. I don't f- personally feel that's financially. Let's talk about the, uh, the other side of it that nobody has ever mentioned, okay? 
there's two parties to the ride share driving. There's the passenger and there's the driver. Right. So here's the thing. If it's an autonomous car, is the are they going to have the same like is it going to be as popular? Because I I have a ton of people getting in my car. They like to talk. They like the conversation. They like. But do you think that is they're like that because that's what the normal world is? But once you take that out of there and people get used to it, they probably would like it. I think. I don't know. I think it's a part of the industry right now. And I think, I mean, I don't know. Well, here's the problem. It probably doesn't matter enough. But. No, but here's that you, that brings up a good point. I don't know if I'm sitting in an autonomous car. I, I think I'm too old to be like, you know, I want to drive the rest of my life. I mean, okay, I'm not going to lie. Driving north on vacation would be nice not to have to drive where I could just be on my phone for three hours. <laughs> but Oh, hey, here's an idea. You can I talk mean, to your wife. Or, or that too. <laughs> You're not on your phone as you drive. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No, I try to try to avoid that. But um, only Telegram, right? But yeah, I I think it's going to be hard for the older generation, just like how hard it is to get older people now to use a computer. I think it's going to be kind of the same thing. We're going to be like, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to drive. I don't. I don't trust this. I don't know. I would not want to jump into a back of a car and be like, yeah, cool. Take me there. And no one's in the freaking seat. Well, but we all know it's way more. I mean, it's way safer. You say it is. is. I think it's safer. I think in 10 years, it'll be safer. I don't think it's safe enough right now. And why is it not safer? Because of the mix, because there's still human drivers as well. Yeah. But that's not what screwed it up. It's been the programming. I mean, look at Uber. They had to cancel their, their, autonomous program because for a while there because they were overriding safety features on it because they didn't want it to get too too sensitive that's the the lady that well, killed he, that one lady while she was playing the right. game or watching tv right they had overridden some safety features so they're still but that was a human a- human aspect that's true it. good point <laughs> that was human involvement the human right. aspect took out you're, the safety features you're right you're absolutely right okay <laughs> so anyways <laughs> Did you just bow to Jesper? I just bowed to him. He got wow. me. He got me on that one. And Sam, you're right. He is too old. So oh, Sam, I'm telling you, she is. She is on. She needs fire to get on tonight. here so I can yell at her. She's on fire tonight. So, but I think we, we can all. I mean, we can, we can all agree on that. Autonomous cars is coming. Oh yeah, it's not coming anytime soon. It's not like you guys are gonna lose your jobs right now. What's gonna happen afterwards? I mean, I think it's a very interesting perspective. I mean, instead of, instead of having our own car, are we gonna be owning a small fleet of vehicles ourselves as individual individual rights? I would drivers? love to do that potentially. Right? There's there's lots of options out there for for that, and we don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, if if tomorrow they came in and said. You know, you can't drive anymore. The only way you can earn money with Uber is you own a car. I think it's going to take out about ninety percent of the f- drivers. They're like, well, you can't afford a. Fi- let's say it's fifty thousand dollars or something like that, right? And I don't know if I would go out and buy a fifty thousand dollar car just to make. You know, you'd have to look at cost benefit, but yeah. man, it's it's changing though, man. I just think about what it's going to be like it, even in like five years i think it's going to be so different i think it ties into this whole uh i mean the the the, the gig economy aspect is just changing everything yeah right and i think that'll be very interesting also to kind of figure out what are we going to talk about in this new podcast coming up because there's so many aspects to this there's so many new ways of making money that if you would have mentioned this to people five years ago 15 years ago they would say oh you you know no this is never going to happen right yeah so, uh, hey, Dustin joined us on uh, YouTube. We're actually doing one of your videos tonight, Dustin. So, stay tuned. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Dustin says it's not canceled anymore. Florida just approved them to test here. Yeah, that's bizarre too. Of course, a Florida man. Like every time you hear a weird story, that they, as of July first, they are allowing autonomous cars on the road. Sure. So everyone's moving to Florida now again. Um, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dustin, sorry. People need backup plans. Yeah, he said five to ten years there won't be drivers like it. Well, yeah, but then that's why we talk about the gig economy. You know, we right. got Amazon Flex and um, yeah. That, that think about autonomous for anim- Amazon Flex. You still have to get the package from the car into the house. Why? Well, 
Why couldn't well, it they be have right? robots that they're designing? Why, uh, to why, do that. why couldn't why couldn't oh, it? God, man, we're going down a rabbit hole. Why couldn't it be a a, a, a I mean, I, I understand that there's some boxes that's way bigger, but I think I think we're gonna in the future we're gonna have we have, we're gonna have mailboxes that are big enough for boxes. So, so as they drive by, they drive all the way up to it and they back the oh, mail. The, the then it just kind of slides push, out. Pushes it into it. Yeah, that's a pretty intricate system inside a car to do that, though. Well, sure, but I mean, it's not like it's not possible. They're already designing robots, though, that operate like humans. I've seen the. Um, right. I've seen the. Uh, the is it Domino's Pizza that has a little car that drives up? I've seen a video yeah, on that. Yep. Um, but then you have to meet the car outside to get your pizza. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, oh, wow, we do. That's tough. I, I mean, know. I, I want to live a, a bougie life, <laughs> um, and I, I, I don't want to have to go outside and uh, ever again, ever again, Period. ever again. In this yeah. heat, man. Can you uh, take the next picture? I got to send a message real quick. I can. So, me. Is that the Chewbacca one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. Do you think Chewbacca has pecs or well, a well, well, trail? Well, pref- preface what it what what it's about. I guess you don't really have to preface it. It's a passenger, right? So a passenger. Is- <laughs> I I just okay. derailed them completely. Why don't you take it back? All right. So this little meme or screen capture here is coming from Sorry, somebody man. who rides as a passenger. Do you think Chewbacca has pecs? Or a trail of tiny teats like a piglet. Uber driver, why did you sit in the front? I mean, doesn't don't people say that all the time? Like, um, when you sit in the front, like people get weird. You're like, why are you here? Like, you have this whole car. Why? Like, I'm fine with people sitting up the front. There's a lot of people that aren't fine with it. But if you're gonna be weird and like that, just go in the back. And maybe it's because I'm weird too. I don't. I just don't care. People can say whatever they want. But seriously, Chewbacca, Piglet Teats, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I just think the funny What's part What's the answer is, to the question? I, I want to know. Yeah, I just think the funny part is like, why did you sit in the front, bro? Like, what are you doing? That is the worst possible spot for a weird person to sit. Well, just answer the question. Well, Actually, it is when you're going to be weird. Well, would you rather have a weird person sit next to you in the front seat or a weird person sit directly behind you? Oh, next to me by far. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. what if he's going to yeah, pull out don't... a knife? Well, I mean, I if mean, he's super now. weird. <laughs> I mean, it's less likely that's going to happen. It's more going to be some um, freaking girl trying to stroke your beard. <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> that is not what I thought you were going to oh. say. <laughs> Oh man, sorry. Yeah, I have that problem too. I hate it when they strike my beard. Yeah. Oh uh, wow. Hey Dustin, I sent you a, a Facebook message. Um, he says he's moving into Jersey, F Florida. Yeah, that's where people go to die. He should people. move to Grand. Rapids. Samantha wants weirdos in the back. Yeah. Uh, mm, well, I mean, it all right be- behind you though. I know. So weird. No, no, not right behind me. Why that? We're getting off topic here, but that infuriates me. Absolutely when I pick does. you up, I understand I picked you up on this side, so you're gonna you're gonna come in whatever. It's like a one way street or something, right? Yeah. Slide over, right? Don't be a creeper. What are you doing? Well, that's what I'm saying. Would you rather have a weird person sit right behind you, right, or I guess right if, next to you? Yeah, I guess if they're gonna be a weirdo, which I don't know, but yeah, um, yeah, I definitely would rather. I don't know. Hey, Gabe's here. It depends on the weirdo. Um, right? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Depends on the weirdo. Um, let's see. Oh, Gabe. Thanks for coming around finally. I think we need to acknowledge the fact that we have a giveaway tonight. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. We're like 40 minutes in. We've already said it. Somebody's said it. Oh, we only have one entry right now. No, no, no. More people have said it. I really? saw like three or four. Oh. Yeah, Do some, your job. Couple, couple Do your on, job Wednesday. A couple on YouTube, too. Oh, I, uh, I saw it. Jamie. I saw Chris from Pennsylvania. I saw Vaughn, Vaughn. and Oscar Morales. Yep. So we're gonna say hashtag Car Star, and we're gonna give some uh, give that away. We're gonna get we're at ten thirty. Is that enough time? We're gonna give Dustin a chance to do it as well. Yeah, Dustin. Yeah, Dustin. Hashtag Car Star. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. Oh, so this is a. 
Okay, we'll talk about this one. This is uh, about someone that a writer's surprisingly simple trick to stay safe in a lift has gone viral. So long story short, she uh, got in a car, uh, Uber and Lyft, and then opened the door and reshut it. And she was said, in short, the fiction author said she opened and closed the door right after she entered the vehicle uh, in order to check that there was no child locks in place that could prevent her from making a swift exit if anything could go wrong. She wrote on Twitter, me to Lyft driver for Tiffany, him, yep, where are we going? Him, redacted, blah, blah, opens and closed the door twice, looks back at me, driver does. Were you just checking for child lock? She says, yep. He goes, whoa, that's smart. I'm going to tell my sister to do that. Me gives five stars. Um, uh, okay, sorry. I just had to check with Dustin on something. Oh, okay. He had said no. He had said no, not that one. I want to make sure it was okay. I didn't want to offend him. To You know what I mean? Because I didn't ask if I could use a YouTube video. So I'm sure he gets replays on it. I just That's all I was making sure. So... Um, yeah, but here's the thing. If the child locks are on, you're already screwed. Like, you know what I mean? But at least the car isn't driving yet. No, but I mean, if you get in and try to get out and you say something to the driver, I mean, at that point, I guess checking it, I guess you could say, excuse me, let me out of the car. You know what I mean? Cause or call 911. Well, yeah, something like that. Because... Literally, he would have to walk around and open it. There's no way to, if the child locks are on, you can't hit a button from, right. yep. unless I have an older car and you can do that. But, but. She, but all she could roll down the window and open it from the outside. Oh, yeah, I'm so. a dumbass. I didn't even think about that. Right. Yeah, that's true. She could have checked it Get and then out. immediately rolled the window down. What if the windows are locked in the back? But then. She's screwed. Yeah. Yeah. But it is a good tip. Um I, I do like that. I, get, I, get get a phone case with a with a little hammer in the corner. Yes, yeah. It's so sad that we have to think about this kind of safety stuff. Like, what's the next thing that's going to be um, right that we're going to have to worry about? So, oh man, YouTube. I is- saw a um, a driver. Uh, this was in the national group. A driver tonight was saying that she just started driving, but she was showing off her mace. A driver, mm-hmm. like that's dumb. Like no, no, it, it's the, her 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 mace had, had was coming right, and so now she was gonna use that to just kind of for extra security and how she's you know she's driven three or four nights and she already has a couple of had a couple of like just nasty people. Yeah, you don't want to use mace inside of a car. You're gonna be smoked too. Well, I mean. Yeah. At least I mean, if it's if it's your last effort, right. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, that's true. But thank goodness the percentage of safe rides that happen every day compared to the. Right. Yeah. So Samantha says I'm whispering. Come on. I don't know. Am I whispering? I don't think so. Okay. He's mumbling. I'm He's not. Danish. Come you on. Know. He doesn't act tired, but man, on the weekends, you should hear the. Um, oh. Oscar says, doesn't some drivers use the child lock so the packs doesn't open the door in this traffic? Well, my car locks automatically after nine miles an hour. I don't know why it's nine. Maybe it's 10. I don't know. I don't know why I came up with nine. I just pulled that out of somewhere. But um, now the, the person can unlock it at any time. But if they quick tried to do it without doing that, it wouldn't open. Um, I don't know. That would be a little weird. Yeah, but oscar then like jesper said they would have to literally roll the window down to get themselves out that would be creepy well unless unless it uh he gets out of the car every time and opens it for them that still would be creepy i would report that guy so fast i'd be like get me the yeah. hell out of this um uh, he's asking don't somebody do that i, I certainly wouldn't no i'm yeah you, yeah i i have never heard of that but um i do definitely keep my doors locked um I had to get in such a habit is hitting the unlock button button. Cause when I go into park, only mine unlocks. I'm sure I can make it. So they all unlock. I probably should do that instead of trying to hit the unlock button. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Who's tired tonight? The hell is a bucket, a bucket. Well, so, let me tell you about my bucket story. So that's why I like my van so much. Cause you know, I have the button oh. on top and that just automatically opens. The I'll door, tell you what, unlocks the doors. if you want to do a ride share driving, right? Get a minivan with power doors. Oh, I mean, no kidding. It's just a game changer. I remember when I uh, drove Megan's odyssey, it was, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. 
I will never get a car that has the three benches. Nope, I will get one in the middle, at least like Ben's Traverse when it does run. Um, oh, it runs. You can get, <laughs> come on, you know I had to do that. Yeah. You can walk into the back. It doesn't have a middle seat in the in the first row there. And so, gosh, it's such a pain in the ass. And does in my van auto locks as well when you put it in drive. So, yep. I absolutely love my Honda Pilot. I absolutely love everything about it except for ride chair driving and XLs. It almost prevents me not doing XLs because it's just so annoying. Especially such a way. hassle. It's a hassle. You have to get out, move it forward for them. And yep. then every time they get out, I say, the latch is on the side of the seat, not the top. I say that every and single time. And they use the top anyways. <laughs> About 50% of the time. So, all right, where are we? I'm lost. I got I to gotta answer Dustin real quick. I drive a Chrysler Town & Country, 15, a, 2015 with, Chrysler Town & Country. With a ghetto bumper on it. Looks like a, <laughs> Shut it up. looks like a 2002. The front bumper looks Steve like a 2002. Steve is going to fix it, right? <laughs> The bump, the front bumper looks like a 2002, but the rest of the car looks like a 15. <laughs> and Dustin, you say they can't slam your doors. I've had people really successfully slamming my doors, and I don't know how they do it, but they do. Do they it. break the? Because isn't there an emergency thing where you can break the power? Oh, you can slam it, but it, it takes real power to do that. Probably that guy from the um, Chris Stapleton concert. Oh, he was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, so I think it's a good idea. I mean, all you fem- oh, I shouldn't say female, that's sexist, but anyone that's out there that was worried about their safety, check the child locks. If it's, if it's not working, you got a problem and you should be on high alert at that point. Right. Um, all right, 1030. Do we have Car Star winners? Um, I need somebody to pick a number between one and six. Six. Um, yeah, let's do six. Our winner is Oscar. Oscar. Oscar Morales. Um, I hope he's still with us. Oscar's on YouTube. Yep. Yeah, he's still on. He's commenting. Awesome. Oscar, uh, how does he message us? If he's on YouTube, um, just have him uh, go email. on Facebook or email. Or if you don't have Facebook, just email us team at grrideshareadventures.com. I know that's very, very wordy. Uh, Gabe says he's had a problem with riders not shutting the door enough. I feel like that's not a problem. People slam the shit out of my, my kids, slam the shit out of my doors. Like, you guys, what? Did you not feel the force of the whole garage shaking when you shut the door? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I Did I do that? Sorry, guys. All right. Um, next up. Okay, so we actually... Oh, no. <laughs> Dustin says you won. I won by, by default. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Sorry, no. You actually have to do the hashtag car star, Dustin, and you didn't. I think he did, didn't he? No. Mm. So the rideshare guy did a... Um, an article uh there was a reddit ama do you know what an ama is yeah what is it it's a ask me anything good job do you know what reddit is i don't know what is that okay i know what an ama is because my son started one on his instagram (laughs) a what ask me anything i i I bet you're happy about that right i feel like the ama on like kids like on instagram is like oh i look cute i'm or what is it I might do something later. I feel I'm feeling cute. I might go murder somebody or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's something I'm feeling cute. Back to the story. <laughs> I like how Yesra like keeps this going like a like a parent. You're right. Back to this it. This is from Dustin. I am. Oh, that's what Dustin said. No, I don't know. Oh gosh, Yesper, you're like a freaking the squirrel. The right guy. No. What? This Dustin's is not from not Dustin. The right chair guy. No. It's the right chair guy, Harry. Keep going. Come on. Do you have something you can throw at him? I've got three Prefer- pens. Preferably not equipment. We've had enough trouble with that. <laughs> so here. <laughs> I don't like you, Ben. I think he would do it. <laughs> um, don't test me, bro. I'm not going to read this article because it's really, really long. But it talks about an AMA with a former Uber employee. And I don't know, man. Some of the stuff that he said, it's, I don't know. And he did put a disclaimer, uh, Harry did, right. that said, hey, I, you know, this could be sketch. He, they wouldn't, he or she would not verify their employment. They said they didn't have anything. They had to leave everything. But I'm like, 
But she said, "How do you not have tax documents?" Right. She says Uber confiscated all employment documentation. I mean, a W two. They like, can't take those. From no, you. no, you get them in the mail. I mean, it's it's the feds that do. Yeah. It. I mean, sh- but anyways, so that's why I kind of feel um, that maybe it's true, but I don't know. But uh, we'll post it on the website under. Uh, do we have a website? We do. Do we have one that says news? Did it, you it's keep... coming. Oh, okay. I'm just saying I can. Do Jason that. wouldn't know because he didn't see it. What color is the homepage? It's like a bluish, and it's got no. like olive text. No, it's not bluish. It's brown. I'm colorblind. Remember, you're colorblind and deaf. What? <laughs> Give me that pen so I can throw it back. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so go ahead and read the article if you're bored. It is lengthy. Um, I just basically what it boils down to is you know Uber doesn't care about their drivers. And then I kind of think, yeah, no duh. I mean, if they did, you know, we would be making more money. So it is an interesting read, though. So check it out. Um, I'll just post in the chat. Or, Jesper, do you want to post in the chat? Sure. Just since we're talking about it. But, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think Uber cares about their drivers? I know everyone's going to say, no. No, 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 they no. don't. They don't. Um, yeah, they one... only care about their drivers when a critical incident happens, and right. they're forced to care for their drivers. Yeah, I totally agree. But as as a general rule of thumb, ain't nobody got time for no drivers. <laughs> yeah. Well, they said that their customer service is a disaster. Although everything they said, I kind of know that. You know what I mean? It's not like they told me anything that was breaking news. That's why I maybe feel that it's kind of bullshit that somebody's just wanting right. to do it. Click, clickbait. Right? I think if you're going to do an AMA, you should be have to verify if if it's something that critical, like a U- former Uber employee. If you're True. just if you're just Ben's son, you know you don't have to verify that you're Ben's <laughs> son. Like no one cares, right? But if you're an Uber employee doing an AMA, I feel like we need to see a tax return or something like that. So, um, yeah. Oh yeah, thank you for posting that. Did you post that on Facebook too or not? I did. Thank he you. Did. He's a good, good boy. But, you know, you can't click it because why would you be able to? Right. So just like talking on the mic, you know, why would you talk on the mic if you didn't have? I one? didn't have anything important to say in that moment. You always, anytime you speak, it's important because you're my boy. Aww. Okay, we're doing a video. So before we go to that, we're going to do the lift. Uh, donate. This is going to be a sensitive topic. Um, I don't think it's sensitive. I think why do you give a crap what Lyft does with their money? But they donated two hundred thousand dollars in ride credits for um, to help immigrants. Now, immigrants doesn't just mean the Mexicans that everyone's up in arms about. It means I'm an immigrant, right? I mean, it means Syrian immigrants. It means all over the world people who are leaving their countries for whatever reason. for whatever reason it is. Um, now, we're not. I'm not going to get super political, but I do believe people should go. Through the right channels. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, sure. I'm not for them jumping the wall. There are policies and procedures in right. place. Right. Do I feel like it could go quicker and we can speed this up? And it's a bunch of red tape. It's a disaster with that. I I totally agree. So this video just kind of talks about them donating ride credits. Good on them. But the comments on the Twitter post. Uh, oh my gosh, people were not happy. So. Company Lyft will now pay for the rides of migrants seeking asylum. The company just announced thousands of dollars in donations to immigration groups that help on both sides of the border. 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo spoke to both riders and drivers who are divided about news of this donation. Laura. And Brian, the donation was announced ahead of the 4th of July on purpose. Lyft's campaign is called America is an Idea, not a Geography. It's a game changer for us. It really is. A game changer for Mark Lane and his organization, the Minority Humanitarian Foundation out of Spring Valley. On their own, without soliciting them, it speaks a lot for how they're behaving, you know, socially in our country. He's talking about Lyft. On Monday, the rideshare company announced a $200,000 donation to support immigration groups across the country, also releasing a series of films showing the work of these organizations. If Lyft gives a ride to a migrant who needs that help, 
that doesn't affect anybody else at all. There's no effect in their life. The Minority Humanitarian Foundation received roughly $32,000 worth of ride credits. These are human beings, and they're here. Lane and his volunteers can use those credits for the migrants they help. One had family in Santa Ana, so we just put them in a lift and sent them all the way to Santa Ana, so they went straight to their family. Dozens of lift drivers we spoke to had no problem taking migrants to their final destination. Not even if it paid less, you know, but since it pays the same, uh, I, I think at that point you're you're just kind of being a jerk if you're not taking the ride. I mean, you're, you're getting paid the same. But some users felt Lyft shouldn't get involved in government issues. They should stay out of the business of immigration. I think the business of immigration is best dealt with by the state and best dealt with by the federal government. Now, the company's donation will not cost riders or users or drivers a dime. It is all donation-based Lyft is also matching any donations for the entire month of July. Reporting live from the airport, Laura Acevedo, 10 News. Um, so, yeah, Emily <laughs> Emily says, I bet all their money came from them cutting out their damn customer service number. Um, yeah, I mean, who cares what they spend their money on? That's their business. Right. I mean, um, here's a completely weird thing if they donate two hundred thousand dollars do they have to since they're public now do they have to ask their investors on like how does that work or they can i mean am i i'm just curious no, I don't they, don't, they don't have to ask they can do whatever i mean i want. feel like a private company you can do whatever you want but don't you have to answer for purchases and like i don't know no no no, no not unless you have the majority owner oh okay you know, makes, i was just curious i i don't but, really know but they still they still have the public you know in the public image to you know to kind of like take care of because people can just sell those shares so a but, co- andy brings up who's been on here before and, and is great he says the continued problem with this you don't know who's in your car and if something happens tracking that individual becomes harder so so basically what i think he's saying because like the organization orders the ride right and so it's not that you know that person that's in your car's name right but what about andy what about all the riders that um order or the people that order rides for other people, do you take those? I mean, we all do. I'm not super comfortable with it, but no, what about when the insurance companies are paying for the ride, health insurance paying for the rides, that stuff? Yeah, I mean that happens today, right? Even in our market. So. When um, when you get somebody that is not the rider, you know, someone else ordered, you always still confirm the name of the person that or. or Oh sure, well, yeah. I guess you would, anyways. So I mean, I think the worst situation I've had to come come to mind was uh, I ended up dry, I ended up actually calling the person who ordered it, and oh, you act, you call them every time? No, not all the oh, time, okay. but sometimes I do. And and this time he was paying for somebody else to go home and you know change and come right back to the bar. Yeah, I call I called and talked to him, and yeah, it was it was good. Yeah, I've called a couple times too, but they've been for hookers, so it's a little <laughs> awkward. Uh, Andy says, "Think more of the issue versus the money people have issues with." I mean, not on Twitter, Andy. I'm telling you, I, um, I can share that link from Twitter, but people were so it was it was all political. People were like, "Oh, what about our vets?" And I agree, but l- you're you're a business; you can choose to spend. But that, wh- that's what he means, though. It's the issue. It's not the people. It's not the money. It's the. It's oh the, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. I read that wrong. Right. So it's the it's the people you know donating to illegal immigrants. Why not donating to the vets yeah. and all that stuff? Then? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm so pro business. I'm like they can do whatever the hell they want with their money. That's they, their business. They can. And I think that the and I'm not again. I'm not getting into any of this. Right. <laughs> we uh, said we weren't going to get into it. Other than then, I mean, there is. If if you look, there is help to get. What do you mean for VA and for you know for seniors? No, I mean here now here in our, in our market, we have an excellent organization called Senior Neighbors, who gets a lot of funding in the, every year yeah. from the area agency of West Michigan. Which I don't is, like Senior Neighbors. Oh, do whatever you want. That's another story, though. But but. They, is that for threadspodcast.com? They get a lot of they get a lot of federal funds. Yeah. And that actually goes to go bus tickets or that kind of stuff that's gonna help enable seniors for transportation needs. 
so there is help to get and, not, and i'm not i'm not getting into that i'm not saying that i'm pro or con or whatever for this but there is already help to get joe stop people. writing in caps um yeah yeah here's the thing though and again we say we're not getting into it they we don't treat our veterans good enough Oh I mean, no, no, I, I agree with on that. On a completely side note, I feel, I'm not a veteran, but I I super support them, and they don't get the treatment they, they deserve. They don't. They no, don't, and no. I don't know why, but it pisses me off. So, anyways, um, Sarah, I have one question for you, and then we'll move on. Why, why are you mad that um, not Sarah? My bad, Emily. Why are you mad that the number is taken away? How often are you calling that number? I've never had to call Lyft support number, so I'm just curious why you're so upset that that number got taken away. Just curious. Just curious. Man, it's hard to keep up with the... Uh, Joe's like, sorry. <laughs> uh, Andy has a great point again. And again, let's not get any deeper into it, but yes. Um, what is this point? Well, just the point is that a U.S. company donating to this issue is sees, is is seen as bad precedence. But are they, uh, do, are they donating to illegal immigrants? Are they uh, donating to... Immigration, immigration uh, businesses that are helping people get through the process. We don't know if it's illegal immigrants. I mean, how do you know if it's right. not somebody that's, you know what I'm saying? The, right. I can't imagine Lyft would be okay with donating money to somebody that's actively helping people cross the border illegally. Right. I, I mean, I don't know. But- Why don't they just take Lyft rides across the border? It's a joke. I don't think that's possible, Ben. <laughs> I was hoping you stared at him longer. I was hoping you got my drift. Wow. Um, I guess that was payback for Japan. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to. <laughs> Did I totally derail you? No, I was trying to catch up. I was going to see if Emily commented, but I didn't see her. So, uh, Andy, what? see, true point. We'd have to dig into the organization. Uh, <laughs> Sam says my face. Uh, Yay, Alex. Yes, they do. Um, if you go up in uh, the description of this post, it has Spotify, Podbean, or um, right. Uh, what else? Yeah, or iTunes to and, download the uh, audio podcast. And on grichatventures dot com, there is links to all the podcasts. Yep, um, and our website. But all right, she wrote back. She wrote back. I, I just I, I know it's we're getting distracted. Oh dang it! He's, sorry, it took me a minute. Uh, need to get a hold of them because something was wrong with my account. I couldn't log in. They told me you're ready to go. I had the same issue, Emily. There's something wrong with my account. They won't let me log on. Yeah, to you've I, had I, like a year and a half two, issue. Two years. They, I know. They need to get a hub in yeah, Grand Rapids. I know. They won't get, I don't you know, know what's going on. So There's something about my, my driver's record. I don't know. Speeding. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Emily. Emily, right? I kept saying yes. Sarah. She is okay. from the same market as uh, Larry. Larry. And Larry, yeah. Because they're super fans. So check this out. This is the Dustin video I was talking about. Um, I hope this doesn't come to our airport. That burp was loud. I think people heard that one. Um, sorry about that if you did. <laughs> I hope this doesn't come to our airport. But this is kind of going back to the story that um, they were manipulating the surge. And what was it? Washington, D.C.? Somewhere around the there. duels, oh, maybe. Yeah, know. but uh, Dustin will kind of talk about. He, if you like, um, if you like YouTube videos, Dustin's great. He's funny. Uh, he does a good job. He doesn't bullshit like us for ninety minutes. He just gets <laughs> to the point. So <laughs> check him out. Is that what we're doing here? No, you know what we're doing. All right, we're having fun. Sometimes. Here comes the video. <laughs> What's going on all my new current and future rides for drivers and passengers out there? Welcome back to the channel. I thought we were independent contractors. I guess we really aren't. Now Uber is telling drivers at the airports that you are no longer allowed to log off whenever you want. Hmm. Did I suddenly become an employee and didn't know about it? Because <laughs> this is crazy right there. That was the whole point of everybody signing up for Uber is the freedom to log on and off as we please. Remember those commercials? Make money. Relax, make money, relax. Well, I guess you can't relax at the airport anymore. So everybody take a look at this right here and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's crazy, right? That's messed up. So I guess this whole surge club that went down 
at this airport is this is exactly why this is coming to effect now. It says airport requirements include being online at all times. As a reminder, the Metropolitan Washington Airport Authority, MWAA, requires driver partners seeking trips through the Uber app to keep their Uber app open and online at all times while entering and while waiting for trip requests at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport and Dulles International Airport. This includes any time parked in the airport waiting lots. Here's the kicker. Logging off the app in violation of airport regulations may cause you to lose access to trip requests at the airport. In addition, the surge amounts on your map will not update for a period of time if you log off at the airport, which may affect your ability to earn more on these trips. So all those little bastards that did the surge club, guess what? You just screwed it up for everybody. Now this is exactly why you can no longer log on and off. But doesn't that kind of go against their whole TOS too at the same time? The simple fact of we're supposed to be independent contractors. You don't tell us what to do. But that goes to show how much of an employee we really are. But all right, guys, I just want everybody to know this. So if you're at the airport, don't log off. Otherwise, you ain't going to be able to get trips and you ain't going to get no surge. Oh, this is so messed up. So messed up. And I don't I don't understand how they can get away with this. Thankfully, I never recommend people sit there and wait at the airport anyways because you can be sitting there for hours before you get a trip. But all right, everyone, check the description below for extra information and tips. You keep doing your thing. Use common sense. Get your money somehow. I guess not by going offline at the airport anymore. And until next time. Uber on or don't. Peace out. Yeah, again, that's Dustin. Uh, yep. Gosh, Dustin is driving on YouTube. I forgot his name there for a second. And he said, I agree with their policy and the drivers did it to themselves. They did do it to themselves. Idiots. Punishing the... Pa- <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Punishing the passengers for Uber cutting fares uh, was ridiculous. That's what happens when you talk about Fight Club. <laughs> Right. Well, and but here in our market, in Grand Rapids market, we have several people who simply are not able to get into the queue anymore. Yeah, we've heard, uh, you know, we've heard that from people that say that if you deny too many trips uh, at the airport or uh, trips outside the airport, that they're deactivating you from the airport. Um, right. um, I don't, I don't know anyone personally, but me, me we, we've heard that that's happening. So. Um, they're cracking down on that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, although it's not too hard in the summer, you don't get a lot of trips outside the airport right now because of just how slow it is with summertime. But um, come wintertime, you get a lot oh, yeah. of requests outside the airport. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Um, what do you think about that? It violates Dustin said it violates their terms of service. Do they, I mean, they can change them at any time. Right. right. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but gosh, I hope that doesn't come here. That sucks. Right. Well, but I mean, yeah. For me, it's still, I go by the same rules, right? I don't, you know, I don't take, I don't drive anybody, drive for anybody who is over, what is it, 12 minutes now? And, and, and I don't care. You do 12 minutes? I think it's for XL or for X too? XL, generally, I'll do anybody. Uh, Really? I'm not, well, I don't do over 15, but, you know. Excuse me. Yeah. I don't do eight for X, anything over eight and anything over 12 for XL. And I've been so fussy lately with my stupid seats. I kind of deny XLs unless I'm literally right in front of where they are. I mean, most winter, in the winter nights, I do do XL only from nine o'clock. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what I have been. So maybe that'll change. Yeah. I don't know. It's, It's stupid for those guys to do that. As soon as I saw that video, I'm like, why are you going to the new? You literally shot yourself in the foot. No, not literally. That's the wrong use of the word literally because they didn't shoot themselves in the foot. But you shot yourself in the foot. I mean, why would you go to the news and say, hey, we're manipulating the surge. Interview me, please. I mean, it was the stupidest thing ever. As soon as I saw them, I'm like, you guys are done. Right. It did not take them long to come out with that either. So I kind of feel like uh, uh, it's it's good on Uber to... That that they did that. I think f those guys for, um, for doing that. I mean, right. you're, you're no. idiots. You ruined it for everyone else. Right. Just like Andy said, you don't talk about Fight Club. No. It's the first rule in Fight Club. We don't talk about Fight right. Club. Right. Dumbasses. All right, where are we at? Okay, so Dustin missed it. Oh, Dustin! Damn it! Are we gonna talk about the stolen car? The stolen car. 
Yeah, we are, but we're is not there now? yet. Oh, we're not there yet? No, we're, we're we at got the one report more of robbery. <laughs> okay, so. This is so fake. Okay, Ben, I don't know. <sighs> Ben's younger than me. He's a millennial, so he, I, I think it's real, but. You, y'all tell us what you think. Okay. I don't think this is Put real at all. Screen. Seriously? Well, it's tough to see for me. Why would they have a form for reporting a robbery? No, I feel that's legit. <laughs> you would call. W- what's the number? <laughs> Witch- Sarah slash Amy or whatever her name is. Which I feel it's like a it belongs were stolen. Uh, dang. Emily, Emily, I was close. So I found this online. I'm sure people have much better uh, Photoshop skills than I do, but they were basically. Uh, it, you know what? Though online there was a conversation with Uber support. Was that Photoshop too? Well, that, I- that he was complaining to them like, "You guys need to really proofread this stuff." But Does someone Ned's medical, medical assistant? What the hell is this? They spelled witch wrong. <laughs> um, actually, it's, it's only two errors. So it might because the only rest was any weapon used. Did the robbery happen? During, no, happened. Why or, would why would Uber be asking these questions in the first place? Right. This is police work. Yeah, but it's w- totally fake. You think so? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! Yes. <sighs> All right. I need opinion. Um, <laughs> but look at side note larry just helped emily and uh and gave her the number and it works awesome good job larry good job good night andy have a good one uh yeah the next stream might be a little better oh my gosh the beginning was a disaster <laughs> um so who thinks this picture is real or fake real or fake oh I'll dustin put it, i'll put it back up again dustin put it back up <laughs> Uh, oh, God, that right now. they use my video against them. <laughs> Dustin, that's funny. Is this fake or real? Real or fake? Dustin says fake. I don't know. It's totally fake. I hate it's you guys. So fake. So fake. All right. Well, apparently I'm old. So, all right. We're gonna jump into tip time since these guys. I never asked them for a tip. I created it, and I've seen this a couple of articles. When the weather is hot outside, please use your air conditioner in the car. Unless you want to smell your passenger's B.O. or you have a, a B.O. you want to share with them. Yeah. I mean... Again, not don't push. Don't. <laughs> so, Hashtag don't push. We always say this is sponsored by Vantrue. They're not truly our sponsor, but we, all, we want them to be a sponsor. Thank um, you, Emily. Yes, it's fake due to spelling. Sorry. Go on. It's fake due to spelling? <laughs> yep. I don't think that's why it's fake. So uh, the Vantrue Pro is the best camera out there for rideshare driving. In our Hands opinion. down. In our opinion. In our opinion. I think it is. I, I think everyone, anyone that says, what dash cam should I get? It's always Vantrue. But basically, I want to talk about air conditioning. You guys, it's hot as shit out. Why are you not using air conditioning? I've seen people complaining, like, I was in a lift today, and they didn't have the air on. I'm like... You're not saving that much gas. I mean, why would you want to be uncomfortable? Yeah. I mean, I won't I won't lie. If I go to the airport and uh, I'm just sitting there, I will turn my car off, even if it's hot out. But I'm by myself. So what are you laughing at? Dustin says he has an Nigerian prince who wants to give him money. <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> damn it. Yes. Go to New Jersey, <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> Uh, it's as it's real as, real as prom, prom chicks. I just was reading that too. <laughs> no more Kool Aid for him. Freaking Wanting hilarious. to meet him. <laughs> okay, we need to get we need to get Dustin on the podcast. Yeah, Absolutely, we we, if we can get Skype if we can to get work. It working, yeah. oh, that was a disaster. <laughs> I feel so bad. All right, we'll jump into Facebook. I need to rename this. What should we name this? It's not Facebook questions because I've there's some posts and stuff like that. Why but, is it we recommend dash cams? What wolf? Uh, I don't know, for the next three posts that I'm going to talk about. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we recommend them because sometimes shit happens. Right. Sometimes shit literally happens. Yep. And you need to have a dash cam. Always have it. Protect yourself. Yep. And, again, dash cam, the one we recommend is the ones that both have inside the cabin and outside the cabin. Yeah. Yeah, I I use a black view. Um and I'm just not as happy with it as the Van True. I feel like the infrared in the Van True is way better. Right. Uh, lights up a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm not going to add extra lighting in the back to get my 
camera to work. It should give me enough light from the get go. So, all right, Facebook posts, Facebook shenanigans. Oh, I like shenanigans. Oh, I like that from Emily. So you have waterproof seat covers. I take them off and clean them regularly. People are gross. I like that. Talking mm-hmm. to the mic. I couldn't. I was reading. Yeah, we'll read it on the live stream. <laughs> oh, my ass. Um, okay, Facebook question. Are the pl- this is a local question, but gosh, who was I talking to? Uh, Dallas. He's like, yeah, I hear you guys talking about the Bob. Like, he remembered us talking about the Bob. He's like, is that a big bar by you guys? I'm like, yeah. It says, are the police still writing tickets for waiting on Monroe in front of the Bob? Been driving again recently and see drivers there all the time. I don't know for a fact. I kind of avoid the Bob like the plague, um, unless it's on Tony Monroe side. But have you guys recently seen police down there writing tickets? No, but no. it's been slow the last couple of weekends. But, you know, they do. I mean, on and off, they, they do it. So it's just the reality is there is no loading zone in front of it. They can do whatever they want. So. Well, and there is a loading zone. It's on well, the opposite yeah, but it's side. Tiny. It's not on Monroe. No, no there, there is one on Monroe, tiny, too. There's a tiny loading zone on Monroe. Yep. But um, Oh, yeah. I don't think it's actually on Monroe. I think you have to pull into that drive, right? Yeah. 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 The actual the one on um, Ottawa is actually on the road where it's loading. Correct. Zone. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's a tiny driveway on Monroe. That's what I meant. Yeah. All right. My... I know my night is complete when I see somebody parking or picking up passengers and I rail my horn right oh, past them. Yeah. When I do that, that's my favorite thing because I'm like, what are you doing? I don't yell that out. but I just like honking my horn in general. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was driving down the freeway last night and I just decided to lay on my horn for a second. I'll honk your horn. <laughs> we had to go there. Okay. I one got bad. That one killed them. All right. So next up. Okay. So, let's be nice, okay? Let's be nice. Well, we're just happy nothing happened, right? No, seriously. So, the next one says, no joke, I just had my car stolen when picking up an Uber Eats. (laughs) Thanks to OnStar, they found it heading there now with the cops. Okay. So, this gal has the worst luck. I do feel bad. Um, Yep. The problem is... (laughs) You left your keys in there. You left your Sam, car running. Samantha goes, let's not be nice. Sam. <laughs> Sam. Sam. We have to be nice, Sam. Come on. Sam. I'm going to take the top fan badge off if you say something <laughs> snotty. <laughs> I don't think she cares about labels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have run into stores with my car on. I have done that in the past. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't get after her too much. I've done it in the past too. I mean, not very often and it's dumb to do it because this happens, but I just feel she gets the, she has the worst luck, right? She does. I don't know what it is, but she has the worst luck. So just a tip. Don't leave your car running. (laughs) Right. That's our tip time. Yeah. You know what, though? They stole the baby seats out of that thing. Like the car because seats. Because they're valuable. I know. What a bunch of they, douches. They, but they they can flip those easy on Facebook. Yeah, you're right. They probably can. Sell, sell you know what's market. great that she had OnStar? I would love to see a dash cam video of someone driving. and then Because OnStar just shuts the car off. They wait till it pulls like onto a side street, and they just shut it off. So yep. they're probably like, well, the car's not running, so we're just going to. Take the car seats. So Greg, he brings up keyless entry, lock the door. And true. What do you mean, keyless entry? Just have the panel. If you have a car with a panel. Oh, panel, not very many cars have that panel. Well, It's a Ford thing. But um, but I think they took her wallet, too. That's one thing I always have in my pocket. Oh, yeah. We, no. Even when I'm driving, it's in my it's not in my butt pocket, but in my side pocket. Yep. Um, but I feel bad for her. I mean... I know. I don't even know one. No one's commenting. I'm the only one commenting about everyone's. Just no, like, on Facebook, there's several people commenting. No, no, no. I'm saying, um, yeah, like Chris says, when I deliver pizza, I leave the car running. Yeah, but you're not, Chris, you're not going inside the home. And when I deliver Grubhub, I leave the car running too. But I'm not, the car's not leaving my site. Not that anyone could walk up to it. Right. But uh, although, where did, did she say she was delivering one? Picking up an Uber Eats. So she was at a restaurant somewhere. 
I th- wasn't it McDonald's? It's really loud when you slam that pen on the table. <laughs> Just let you know. Should I throw another one at him? No, don't. Oh. He Can was I gonna, throw it at you? Or, no. He was starting, oh. don't. You're going to hit me, and then I'm going <laughs> to throw this pee bottle at you. Um, earlier, he started clicking, and I'm like, all right, I'm giving him one more click, and if he doesn't, I'm going to ask him to put it down. So, All right, next one. Uh, this is a pretty common question, and then we're going to wrap this B up. So if your rider puts in two stops and you get to the first stop, they go in. How long do you guys wait? I've been waiting for almost 10 minutes, I think, of ending the ride now. I always tell people, unless you don't, unless you get a feeling that they're going to be in there for a while, I always say, hey, I can wait five minutes. Five, five minutes is my limit. I feel like five minutes is when you arrive on the scene. Arrive on the scene. When you arrive to pick somebody up, that's the general rule. So I tell them five minutes. Unless they promise you a sandwich and sushi. <laughs> Yeah, then you're going to wait longer. So, and about that, listen to last podcast. You get the story about the sandwich and the sushi. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. Uh, one thing I want to say about the two stops is when you get to your first stop, go ahead and say that they're ready to go right away because I haven't proved it myself, but people say you do not get paid from the wait time when they get to their first stop till when you go. Which is kind of dumb, but maybe I I can't prove it otherwise. But so I what know. I always do is like they're going to go to Seven Eleven and then they're going to go home. Get to Seven Eleven, you hit arrive at first stop, and then it says, "Are they ready to go yet?" or whatever. Yep. And I always say they're ready to go, even though they're still inside. Yep. And then if if they go over five minutes, just end the ride. Don't cancel. Just end it, and you'll get paid for your time and the drive there. So. Correct. Yep. Wow. We got through it, that Emily. I keep my. Wa- I know it, it did. It did turn out better, but um, I keep my wallet at my driver's side. Confirm stop. Um, I have a button, Jason. I just need my keys in my pocket. Oh, she's got a newer car where the fob. Right. It okay. I have a 2010 Sam. <laughs> so sorry about your luck. I don't even have freaking Bluetooth in my car. So. Get a, um, get a Ryzen hum, yeah, Bluetooth. And you call yourself bougie. I I know. Well, my car was expensive enough. Gabe, I don't care about your 25-minute ride. <laughs> so <laughs> I always tease Gabe. He's my buddy. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much. I apologize again to Steve. I'm going to try to work through it. I'm slightly embarrassed that I couldn't get that. And uh, it's tough, you know. You guys know our struggle. That's why, hey, sign up for the Patreon. That will make me really happy. Can we get one Patreon subscriber tonight? Just one? Well, anyone? Since we didn't put the link anywhere. In the yeah, list. it is. It's in the description. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's under... Right, I'm looking at it. It's patreon.com slash GR Rideshare. Not in the YouTube one. Oh, no. Not not in the YouTube one. I haven't set that one up yet. You can't have people these days. Are you putting it in YouTube? I am. All right. So, yeah, we appreciate it. If you could sign up for the Patreon, maybe we'll have better tech next time. And honestly, I can't blame anyone. I can only blame myself that uh, I didn't check the Skype before. Um, but Steve and I uh, had a great conversation last night on Skype for an hour. The Skype worked fine. It's just integrating it into the system didn't work very well. But, yeah, we had a great conversation last night. He's got over almost 20,000 rides. Um, and if you want a lot of news for his um, site, go to shit. What is it? Uberliftdrivers.com. Um, he actually owns that site and it's got all kinds of news on it. Um, he writes some articles and stuff like that. So it's uh, in the description too. So at least on Facebook, apparently I f- screwed the pooch on, uh, on Uber. Can we, can we get one Patreon tonight? Come on, guys. Emily's asking what it is, so I say we close this out by showing our video. Is it still on XSplit? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, we're going to play the Patreon video for Emily and, and whoever else may not have seen it. Uh, after the video, we'll be gone. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Good night. See you, guys.